I right in assumptioning that this is Backside Farm? Woodside Farm. Oh, <laughs> silly me, I am a fool. <laughs> I don't know my backside, I mean, uh, my... Uh, Woodside, well, uh, we're booked here, you see, and there's four of us, and uh, we're booked for the week. Pledge is the name. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, just a minute, while I tell my uh, uh, party that everything is all right. <laughs> You, Eli, pay the fella. <laughs> what a nice place you have here. I like the decorating. Did you use ready dipped? A tip, mate. I'll give you a tip. Never put your underpants on backwards. <laughs> and you. <laughs> Show me up like that. Hey, no, it's a funny sort of farm, this, isn't it? Haven't seen a cow yet or a sheep. Mind you, I have now. It was quite right, Eli, for you to not to give that taxi driver a tip. Our water left something for him in back. I know, I put my hand in it as I got out. <laughs> now I know why they call them bucket seats. Oh, shut up, you flamer. Go and put your water down. Uh, it's all right now. We're all here. Good. Uh, may I say welcome to Woodside Farm? Thank oh. you. Uh, in a moment. The chief will be here to welcome you himself. Chief? What is he, a bloody red Indian? <laughs> hey, up. what's he doing? He's making sure we're safe and sound. We can't get out. Oh, stop grumbling, you big fleas armpit. Oh, no, I'm not grumbling. <laughs> I'm not grumbling. I'm glad we came to a holiday farm for a bit of a rest, you know. I mean, plenty of good ale, good beer. Yes, touch the local girls up a bit, poke a few pigs. Get off! <laughs> How oh, to sow and mow and reap and be a farmer's boy. You will not sow and reap. You're not sowing any wild oats here, I'll tell you. Side, this is a health farm. Oh, really? You what? <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Bloody hell, I feel as I've been here three days already. <laughs> I am Dr. Scott, your guide, philosopher and friend. Oh, you haven't had the pleasure of me yet, have you? <laughs> I'm the Miss Nelly Pledge, and this here here is my brother Eli, Dr. Croc. Scott. No, he's Lancashire, we all are. <laughs> no, no, I am Scott. Oh. All right, Jock, all right, don't get your pre-brocks in a quiver. <laughs> Take no notice of him, he doesn't really know where he is. <clears throat> uh, yes, I can see all the signs. When the body goes to rack and ruin, the brain often suffers too. Bang about, Cock. I thought I was coming to a proper farm for a nice little holiday. I don't want to be messed about with a lot of doctors, you know. And if you think Excuse you're me, keeping me here, you're you. very much, very much... Who's that? That is Miss Pringle. She is a masseuse. Oh, what a pity. She looks the picture of health. <laughs> no, no, Miss Pringle is a physiotherapist. Oh. A what a pist? <laughs> when they keep wanting to have a drink, you know. It's what they call, you know, uh, an alcoholic. <laughs> no, no. Miss Pringle's job is to take a broken and decrepit human body, as, for instance, Mr. Pledges here, and by using her hands on that body to make it glowing and vibrant again. Yeah. Well, Nelly, now we're here. We may as well get unpacked. <laughs> Rivals are in the waiting room, Doctor. Ah, yes, the pledge party. Tell me, have they paid in advance? Oh, yes, sir. Good, that man pledge looked like a troublemaker to me. Send him in first. I'll have the others later. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Pledge? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now, look, Con. There's, uh, there's no wrong with me. I'm as fit as a pork butcher's dog. All I need is a touch of the old massage, that's all. Just a touch of the... What are you doing? No smoking at Woodside Farm, Mr. Pledge. Ah, I need those for my bloody cough. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Mr. Pledge, do you drink? Oh, ta very much, yes. I was not offering you a drink. I was inquiring about your drinking habits. Oh. Uh, do you go into public houses, Marge? Or did you get a drink? <laughs> and how much do you drink? Oh, about uh, two a day. Two pints per damn Gallons. <laughs> At Woodside Farm we have a motto, be smart with your heart, be shrewd with your food, and be good with your blood. I'd sooner mingle with Miss Pringle. 
I beg your pardon? No, you see, I've just got this muscle trouble up here. It gets me like that sometimes. I can't move. All I need is a touch of the practice hands. Very well. Report to Miss Pringle and give her this. It tells her exactly what you require. <laughs> and tell the others I'd like them to step in. Step in what? <laughs> Ah, good morning. Please be seated. There's your Walter. Oh. Oh. oh, very good. Now then, ladies, why have you come to Woodside Farm? I will tell you why. You have come seeking health and, above all, beauty. <laughs> well, I can give you beauty. Oh, thank you. Very glad. Beauty where it really counts inside. Oh, well, we were rather hoping for more of an outside job. Of course, much can be achieved by getting rid of excess weight. For instance, in your case, Miss Pledge, we could cut out the carbohydrates. Oh, will it hurt? <laughs> And in the case of this lady, correct posture might work wonders. Shoulders back, chest out. Chest out. A chest is out. <laughs> As I was saying, ladies, true beauty comes from within. You see, the human body is like, uh, well, it is like a motor car. Ah, that's very true. When it's shiny and new, everybody wants a ride. <laughs> right. Then, when your bodywork starts to go, in a bit, what are you? An old banger. <laughs> quite, quite. Now, I was thinking of the human body, Miss Pledge, more in terms of the engine. Given proper care and the correct fuel, your body will take you a long way. Especially if you have a big purr of headlamps. <laughs> I've come for it. Beg your pardon? Oh, you know, the touch of the old Swedish massage. Oh, the doctor says I've got to have it. It's a matter of life and death. Oh, it's as bad as that, is it? Oh, I'm dying for it. I told you so. Oh, well, take your robe off, please. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and lie on the couch. <laughs> Face down, please. Oh, kinky, eh? <laughs> now then, you don't have to be shy with me. No, no, I'm a big, strong, healthy lad, you know. <laughs> Where did you like with me? Oh, ooh, do as I like it. Ooh, you're giving your scribbles all down me back. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Well, ladies, I've told you the diet and the treatment I shall be giving you. The rest is up to you. Yes, uh, <clears throat> Is there something else? Well, uh, it's our Walter, really. I mean, it's only a little thing. <laughs> oh, yes? Well, I mean, uh, what we really came for, you see, was for our Lily, because uh, he's her husband. I was hoping you could, like, do something for him, Doctor. I mean, give him something. Yes, it's sort of perk him up a bit, you know. I'm just saying, you want perking up. But he, he wants something up. <laughs> you see what it is, Doctor? It's been run down recently. Yes, two little lads on a bogey. <laughs> Never stop to ask him if he'd hurt himself or nothing. And you want me to give him a new lease of life? Oh, or even a short holiday. Well, I like a challenge. We can but try. Hear that, Walter? The doctor's going to take you in hand. He's going to put you back on top. And if, if you should slip like you do, don't worry. The doctor will be there to put you back on top. <laughs> Only another 96 to go. <laughs> ah, tell with it. I'll 
do it again. I'll do the rest after dinner. Oh. I know. What do you say? Think beautiful thoughts. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Dr. Gray, think beautiful thoughts. Rose petals in the sunshine. Little birdies twittering their songs. A turkey sandwich <laughs> full of stuffing with a big dollar particularly on top of it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Think beautiful thoughts. A lovely meadow with a stream running through it. Twittle, twittle, twittle. I wonder if Walter's been. <laughs> Oi, Miss Well. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm thinking beautiful thoughts, you great nosebleed. <laughs> what the hell for? Because Dr. Croc says to be beautiful, you have to think beautiful. Well, by the look of you, for the last 30 years, you must have been thinking about an elephant's behind. <laughs> I'll inhale that remark. <laughs> Real beauty, true beauty is not outside. I've got beauty inside me. Have you? It's a pity none of it tried to get out. <laughs> ah, I say what you like, Eli Pledge. I mean, this place <laughs> is doing me good. Is it? Yes, it is. I, I feel like an 18-year-old. So do I, but where can you get one of this dump? <laughs> I'm just fed up with you. Why did you come here? I didn't know I was flaming well coming, did I? Well, why don't you get gone? There's nothing stopping you, is there? Oh, get gone. That's marvellous, that is, isn't it? Bolts on the doors downstairs, bars on all the windows. It's like a flaming prison now, Nolly. That's what it is. Well, they have to be firm with you. It's for your own good. You see, look at me. I mean, I'm not grumbling, you know. I mean, anyway, we've paid for the week. We're going to stop for the week. What the hell for? Well, when we leave this place, we're going to be fit and healthy if it kills us. And it will. <laughs> it will kill us. I haven't had a fag for three days. Or a drink. Oh, Nelly. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yes. Oh, don't, don't be like that. I mean, they, they don't give us much, I know. But, I mean, it's full of vitamins. I don't like vitamins, though. I like chips and bacon butties. Puddings. Oh, oh, oh give me pie. <laughs> Some dipped in butter. Yeah. Jam rolling for me, Nelly. Yeah. I'll kill you. Nelly, aren't you hungry? Aren't you hungry? Hungry? I could eat a dead rat. <laughs> but I can control myself. I'm not like you, like you. Stood standing there, slurring all down yourself, <laughs> waiting for the dinner gong to go. That's it. <laughs> See, Walt is ready for it. <laughs> I'm just saying you're ready for it. <laughs> Oi, the only thing he's ready for is the knacker yard. <laughs> Shut up, you. Is it uh, doing him any good, this treatment, you know? I mean, uh, like, is there, uh, has there been anything to show for it? <laughs> Not yet. Well, you'd think the doctor would uh, sort of prescribe a, a, a poultice on it, wouldn't you, to bring it out? <laughs> I'm just saying you want to bring it out. <laughs> Mind you, he likes that special food the doctor's given him. Oh, yes. <laughs> he does, he does. He can put it away. I'm saying you can put it away. <laughs> Why don't you make your mind up? First you want him to bring it out, then you want him to put it away. <laughs> you shut up. I'm talking to the patient, not the disease. <laughs> and, um, is it any better... When it goes dark. <laughs> well, not really. You see, Eli, the doctor says that our Walter suffers from shallow sleep. Is that why he wakes up in six inches of water? <laughs> no, you don't understand. You see, the human body is like a motor car. Ah, well, you should have had Walter under seal. <laughs> oh, shut your big girl's blouse. Oh, Lily's had everything, you know. Has she? Oh, yeah. She's had the steam baths and the Turkish baths. There's only one thing she hadn't had. And we all know what that is, don't we, Walter? <laughs> Massage. Oh. 
I don't fancy that. No, you shouldn't either. Oh. I really like that massage. Oh, oh yes, I'm terrible, 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 terrible. terrible. Oh, yes, they take all your clothes off you and they lay lying you down on, 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 on a couch. Yeah, and a big fella comes in. Yes, and he picks you up and throws you and brings you down again. <laughs> Well, while I'm here, I suppose I ought to have it. Hi, <laughs> hi, the grub's up. <laughs> this table's on special menu for the rest of the week. The doctor says you're ready for it. Oh, oh jolly, jolly, good, jolly, 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 What are we supposed to do with that? That's your dinner. What, for the rest of the week? The doctor's orders. Oh. So, only thing for it. Send out, uh, uh, SFS. You mean an SOS? I mean an SFS. Same for Stan. Get on that telephone and tell him to get over here quick with a cartload of food. <laughs> and you, come on here with that. What are you playing at? Hey, 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 <laughs> Where's that specky hag manure carrier? <laughs> Look at the time. It's ten past. Oh, I must get a little ham put on this watch. Hey, oh. Come here. I think I can hear something. Yeah. Hey, that, that's our horse and cart. Yeah. I'd know that squeaky sound anyway. That's our horse's left back, left back leg. Yeah. Hey, Stanley, is that you? Go! <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill him! I'll kill him! No, no, no. no. Yo, you stupid old git! <laughs> Hello, Eli. Hey, you said I'm going to throw some up against window. Not when I've got my head stuck through, you daft old twallop. Is that you? Is that you, Stanley? Aye. Ah. Yes, well, have you got the ladder? Yeah. Well, come on, then. We'll have it up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you when you are, Miss Nelly. <laughs> I was talking about the ladder, you crate egg. By hell, Miss Nelly. This holiday is doing you good. You look very bonny. Thank you, very glad. <laughs> yeah. You put a bit of weight on. I haven't, I haven't. Yes, you have. You know, you've filled out nicely. I ain't flaming well, haven't you, specky eyed bomb pop? Get out! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Miss Nelly! You've done it now, you're not needing naked old nose bag. I don't care, you bow legged, big bellied brewer's boy. Come on, let's have a look if he's all right. Are you all right, Stanley? He's all right. What is he? No, I'm done. Mm. Fell on his head. Eh? Ah, <laughs> uh, think on. Box clever. Get the grub first, then thump him. Right? I see. Uh, Stanley. <laughs> I'm sorry I gave you a shove just then. Oh, it, it's all right, Miss Nelly. It was only a love chat. <laughs> hey, I like it when you flirt with me. I'll flirt with you. Ah! I hope you brought plenty of food, Stanley, otherwise we'll have to eat the horse. Yes. Well, I don't fancy our nellies then. I've got plenty of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, get it up here and we'll have it. <clears throat> oh, Miss Nelly, you're leading me on again. <laughs> the food, the food! Yes, where the hell's the flaming food? Oh, hey, hey, well, it set me back a few quid. Oh, blimey. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and you money for me petrol? Oh, money for the pe petrol. <laughs> petrol? You came in the flaming arse awesome and car. <laughs> I'll thump him, I'll thump him. No, no, you don't do that. You get the food from him first and then thump him. Oh, all right. <laughs> Miss Nelly? Yeah. Cigarettes? Oh, cigarettes. Yeah, cigarettes. Beer? Beer. beer. <laughs> That's what I want, the beer. What about the food, the food? Well, Mr Eli said to bring the necessities. <laughs> Wait till I get my strength back. I'll kill you, you dehydrated dropout. Oh, no. I brought a roast chicken. Oh, a chicken. chicken. Oh, chicken. That's not the clock. Hey, you go mad. Here, yeah, you have it. No, you have no, it. No, you have it. You no, have you, it. No, you have it. Oh, you have it. Oh, go on. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yes. Oh, Stan. Ah, yes. Get out. Oh. Hey! All alone, I am so all alone. No one else but me. All alone. Oh. Are you alone, Miss Plate? I thought I heard voices. Yes, I... No, no. How can I be alone? I mean, you're here. The two of us, together, uh, on our own, with nobody with us. <laughs> what was that? Manners. <laughs> Better out than in. <laughs> Miss Plate, 
I want you to get the maximum benefit from your stay here at Woodside Farm. Is there anything you need, anything I can do for you? Yes, there is, Doctor. Will you come and sit down? <laughs> well, it's no use beating about the bush. I'm not getting enough of it. I beg your pardon? <laughs> well, I mean, I've got to have it, you see. I get plenty of it at home. <laughs> Miss Pledge, what you do at home is no concern of mine. But I need it. If you'll just give me a bit. I mean, I promise you, I won't ask for a second helping. Miss Pledge, what you're asking is quite out of the question. Good heavens, I'm amazed at you, Miss Pledge. Drinking and smoking. I don't, don't care for drinking and smoking. It's the other thing I want. And now you throw yourself at me in this shameless fashion. Do you know what would happen if I succumbed to your temptations? I would be struck off. <laughs> struck off? For a plate of hot pot? <laughs> hey, you, where's that chicken? <laughs> you great guts in you! It needed a bit of stuffing. It needed a bit of what? Stuffing. It's not the only thing that wants stuffing round here. <laughs> I'm getting fed up with you shooting off this ladder. Oh, Stanley, I'm ever so sorry I pushed you like that. But you see, if the dog could have seen you, they'd have... Oh, it's you, Lily. Oh, I can't come without food yet. Oh. Only Walter says he could fancy a nibble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he came with it. But Gutsy over here is eating it all. Oh, and I'm dying for it. We're talking about food, not your private life. Hey, I don't know what you all want to stop you for. You've got no to eat and you've no to do except shove fork off ladders. Why don't you all come home with me? Oh. You four-eyed tater, what do you mean come home with you? What about these iron bars and everything we can't get out? Oh, aye. Uh... <laughs> after he's been here three days. What's it going to be like at the end of the week? <laughs> All that on a glass of turnip juice. <laughs> oh, Nelly, come on, don't hang about. I'm hanging about here all well, night. I'm, come on, I'm, get I'm, your head through first. Yeah, come come on, I'll pull, I'll pull you through, see? I'll pull you through. Oh, Nelly! Oh, 